bowl this one. I put my milk in first. It looks awesome. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. I'm making my breakfast. Um, I've already tried my new coffee and it's really, really good. I actually poured the milk in first before I did the pour over thing. That's the first time I've done it and that was a really good idea. It just tastes really good that way to me. So, um, for breakfast, I'm making a scrambled vegan egg with cheese and then I'm gonna cook a couple of little pieces of veggie bacon and I'm putting that on a piece of sourdough bread and I'm gonna make kind of like a little bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich situation. So I'll show you guys whenever it's done. I'm sure most people know this, but if you need to melt cheese on something, if you add like a little tiny drop of water, it'll create steam and it'll make your cheese melt really good. my sweater now since I wore it yesterday it's about time right um, so I'm gonna go soak that for a minute and block it and then actually I think this is called puddles and piers this one I think it's called puddles and piers but anyway it's never been blocked either so I'm gonna wash or soak and yeah soak and block that one soak and block this one last night before i went to bed i actually took the time to weave in the ends on my spila so i'm going to try to take finished object pictures of that today possibly this afternoon um whenever the sun's in the right place so i'm gonna do that and yeah so basically it's a big day of paying for all of my knitting sins that i've committed over what the summer i guess And I didn't actually pin the body on this one. I did kind of pin just the bottom part right here a little bit, just to kind of make sure that it actually lays flat, but it's not like stretched or anything. And then I did pin the neckline because the neckline was kind of rolling on me. Um, and then I pinned just to make sure the sleeves stay, you know, the right length. And then on this one, I pinned the sleeves so that they're stretched and I pinned the body so that it's a little bit longer. So, yeah. Hopefully everything goes well with these. <laughs> Bella and Oscar helped the whole time, which is super awesome. I love having puppy help. So we're gonna go do some laundry. We have to wash our sheets and eat lunch and probably work on my shawl a little bit. It's gloomy and nasty looking, so I'm not gonna go take pictures of my sapila. And I don't know, is it called sapila or sapilla? Or maybe something else. I've heard people say so many different things whenever they're referring to that sweater. So I call it sapila. Um, I thought I heard Caitlin Hunter call it that on Christy Glass Knits, but I don't know. Maybe I made that up. Anyways, I call it sapila, but you guys know what I'm talking about anyway. Um, so I'm not gonna take finished object pictures of that today. I think the next time I actually go out of the house though, I plan to wear it. So hopefully whatever day that is, hopefully it'll be nice out and I can go out afterwards and take some pictures, maybe. Hopefully that'll work. Um, but right now, since it's kinda crappy outside, I've been working on my shawl. I only have, let me see, hold on. Okay, so I'm, more than three quarters of the way done with section two. So I don't know that I'll finish it tonight. I don't know if I'll finish section two tonight. 
possibly maybe if I really hustle because like 4 30 so I might have a chance to finish it tonight I don't know for sure we'll see um, but I would suspect even if I'm knitting slowly or just kind of like leisurely I think I'll have section two done by tomorrow so that means I can start on section three either later late in the day tomorrow or either possibly the next day so yeah and I haven't looked at section three yet so I'm excited. It's warm enough to move the tree back out, so I moved my lemon tree back out, which is awesome because it's really big whenever it's in the house. It's crazy. It doesn't feel like it's as big as it is until it's in a room in the house, taking up my space. So it's back out. I'm hoping these things will get ripe soon. Really, really want my lemons to be ripe. It's always Tongue Out Tuesday at our house. Right, Belle? So for dinner tonight, I'm going to make the rest of my gnocchi. Is that what it's called? Gnocchi? Anyway, I'm making the rest of my gnocchi. Um, I'm going to cut up a chicken scallopini in there. I'm going to wash these mushrooms and cook them. I'm going to have the rest of this frozen broccoli. And I'm going to put all those things together and make kind of like I did that one night where I did the cheese sauce. But I'm going to do my cheese sauce different tonight. And I might cut up a tomato and put it in there too. So this is super similar to what I made last time, except I used provolone cheese and I just heated it on the stove with a little bit of milk and I added garlic powder, not garlic salt, just garlic powder to that. Um, but then the only thing really different is I added tomatoes instead of onions this time and I used a scallopini instead of pre-shredded chicken. It's almost time for bed, but before I go, I wanna show you my texture time shawl. I have made progress today. I'm almost done with section two. I have a very, very tiny bit more to go on it, but I just can't stay up and finish it tonight. So I'll hopefully finish it on my lunch break tomorrow, but I wanna show you my progress. This is what I have done. So this part over here is done for section two. And this is what I've done over here, the second half. So I have to do one more of this light section and then I have to do this dark section and then one more of those on the end so it matches. All those strings are just extra crap hanging, <laughs> but I love it. I love how it's looking. really cool looking. So hopefully I'll get to start clue three tomorrow. I know it's been out for gosh since Friday so today is Tuesday so yeah it's been out for a while but I'm very happy with the progress of this. I think it's a really beautiful shawl so far. I can't wait to see what the rest of it looks like. All right, so that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I will be back tomorrow with another Vlogtober episode. Bye guys.